Really? We well, now we have a pickle, pickle song. song. This is pickle. great. Yeah, well, well, we are in the kitchen with Patrick, and he is going to be making pickles, so this is yes. perfect. Yeah, it is. And you've been doing this a real long time. Last time you were here, you gave us a jar of your pickles, which I ate in the car on the way home because I love pickles so much. Fantastic. I already ate two of them. My mouth is watering. <laughs> Why did you decide to make your own pickles? Well, I have to thank, uh, I was uh, at the farmer's market in, uh, in Hollywood, and uh, I ran into Kim Payne, who runs the, uh, the Hip Girl's Guide to Pickling and the Hip Girl's Guide to Home Life. And... She basically was saying, you know, this is how you should make pickles. She, she basically gave me the, uh, the freedom to not be afraid to pickle. And these are, <laughs> well, only because, you know, I thought pickling involved like, uh, you know, uh, the old mason jar steaming stuff. You know, oh, my yeah. mom used yeah. to can tomatoes and peppers. Right. And it looked like an a awful thing yeah. and a lot of work. And she's like, these are cold bath fridge pickles. They're mm -hmm. easy, they're clean, and, yeah, uh, and you can do no wrong. So however you want to make them is good. This is just the way that I like to make them. Right, do you give them as gifts? Are these? I, oh, they're great for gifts, as a matter of fact. You know, um, I've given them to uh, uh, my family, my friends, my agents, uh, and my fellow cast members from Better Call Saul. Mm -hmm. And he brought us some today, really too. Nice. Aren't they delicious? Yeah, I did. Really good. We got right? a can. Mm. All right. That's so good. All right, so let's start now with the pickles. But you, I noticed that you don't use like those big, uh, those big Whoa. cucumbers. No, no, no. I use, I, I, Persian. I use I use Persian cucumbers. Now, instead. why do you use Persian? Instead? I just like them. And okay. uh, if you can get organic, if you can get buy them at your farmer's market, that's absolutely the way to go. So get a clean mason jar. Uh, you got a whole bunch of different spices. I'm sure you can find it on the on the website here on Home and right. Family. Uh, but basically, we like to use a little bit of coriander. Pickles and also, Italian. I don't measure. I just use my hands. Basically, you get a little turmeric. Mm, these are so good. We got mustard. We got dark mustard. We got clove. Interesting. Uh, you can use crushed red pepper. Also use a bay leaf. Crank that in there. By the way, do, remind me, is this a family thing? Uh, no, it's not a family thing. This, this is this actually this starts gets, with you. It starts with me, as a matter of fact. My it's mother did not. My mother made a lot of things, but she didn't make pickles. Oh, so did you say mustard? But yes, like mustard, 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 mustard seed, seed. mustard seed, seed. dried mustard. Uh, you need dill, uh, dill weed mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Lots of garlic. I, you can, I use the whole thing, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. And that's where you can get into like whether you uh, whether you like it hot, spicy, or not. I like to put in the secret ingredient, oh, which is ooh. sliced that's jalapenos. Yeah, that, wow. there's there's jalapenos. Okay. Yeah. I was trying to figure it out. Little safety tip from the kitchen: after you've handled jalapenos. Do not wipe your face. Yes. <laughs> or pick your nose. A, or pick your nose. That's right. Call. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. The first thing you have to do when you do this on the stove, it's a one to one to one ratio. You take one cup of apple cider vinegar to one cup of nice, fresh, clean water to one tablespoon of kosher salt. And you put that mixture in there and you put it on the stove and you turn it up high and you boil that while you do all your fixings over here. Well, you boil it for how long till the salt melts? Uh, you know, the salt will melt by the time it boils, it'll all go away, so okay. it, it's all good. It so smells great. Just up to a boil. Just up to a boil okay. and then turn it off, and then you're all, right. all fine. Okay. Meanwhile, you fill your jar with your fixings, fresh dill, a whole bunch of it. Fresher the better, shove that in there. Then, here, you wanna go ahead and stuff yeah. some pickles in there? Yeah, what, Mark? I was go gonna ahead. jump in, what's the salt do, by the way, when you put it in, is it just to give it the... Uh, you know, the salt makes it, it, makes it the brine, and that, uh, this is gonna be a sour pickle, and if yeah. you want to make it sweet, you can yeah. add sugar. Now, I'm not how sure, much how, sugar? I'm no? not sure oh. as much as you want, I imagine. I usually make sour ones, so I don't no. know. Yeah. I like that, sour ones better than sweet ones. Yeah, I do too. I mean, a pickle yeah. for me is, is a I, sour thing. Yeah. I, I like this. I, occasionally, I like those little sweet. What are they, gherkin? Oh, gherkin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gherkin yeah. and baby pickles. We call them bread and butter pickles, or grandma's yeah, yeah, because yeah. grandma's house used to always have them. <laughs> yeah. And so, this, is, oh. this is sort of the pickling spice, what, what, what it looks like. If you want to make a jar ahead of time. You could buy that already made in the grocery store, Absolutely. Right? Morton and Bassett from San Francisco is a real good one. I use that a lot. But any pickling spice you want to do, and whatever these ingredients are, you can't go wrong. Um, Allspice is, is a great one. Uh, it's huh. it, it's, uh, yeah. right, right, it's right. the one that yeah. really sort of brings it over. How are we doing can, over can you, If you can't find Persian cucumbers you can use regular cucumbers because right? you know at the end of the growing season we have so many like in our garden here we have so many cucumbers oh you can use any kind of cucumber you can also use any kind of vegetable if you want you know i like to stick in radishes sometimes or onions okra i, tr I tried carrots okra. but it, but it's oh, okra is a good okra, idea are yeah. you from texas no <laughs> virginia virginia it's, it's like north texas <laughs> yeah, <probably>. I know. <laughs> yeah. oh, we're gonna get a lot of letters I, on that one <laughs> I don't know who to apologize for. I love Texas. We'll just give you a forwarding address for I'm this. Out. I said nothing. But I tried Karen's once, but uh, Shanti, who works on the show here, yeah. I told her that it didn't work. And she told me that's because I did not blanch them first. So if you're going to use carrots, which are hard, you blanch them first, and then they'll soak in the brine. So you got this going. Yep. And then we finally take our, this is boiled. It's all raring to go. Do you want to pour it in? 
Sure. Great. Yeah. Does anyone else like drinking the pickle juice, or is that just me? That's just you. That no, I'm sure there's delicious. a lot of people who do. <laughs> it oh, really is. new about you every day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. beautiful! All the, top. And all then, the way to the top. You cool the brine great. Before. And then at the end, I you know I like to put in a, a little more fresh dill. It's a great garnish. It's a great look for it as well. It smells wow. wonderful. Just shove it on in there. Put as many like Christina has I that jar within an good. inch of its life. Yeah. 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 Stuff it. Do you want to have it that down. full? Is that yeah, the idea? And then you can okay. and you can give this to uh, you can give this to. Uh, do we have do we have awesome. a picture of uh, of uh, my friend Jonathan Banks and his pickles? <laughs> that's now that's awesome. Wow. That's a testimony right there. That could it's be great. Trending, if Jonathan <laughs> Hanks likes these pictures, just the you're gonna joy like in his it's, expression. It's crazy because he's like one of the biggest killers yeah, on the yeah. show, and then you see. I, that. Well, I tell you what, he's gonna he's gonna kill me. If I get another pickle, that's for Mark sure. wanted to know if it was okay to stuff all of these in yeah. like I did. So Absolutely, I yeah, yeah. You want to pack them in? More the better. Yeah, it's a great. Um, real quick, I, ask, I want to ask you about Driver X. Oh, Driver X is a new independent film that I've just completed. And uh, What's it about? it's about a middle-aged guy who ends up having to drive Uber in order to save his marriage and his family. Wow. So it's all about the wild nights of Los Angeles, and uh, it's I'm really excited about it. I'll come back and promote it later on when it comes out. I would out. love you to. You can come okay? back anytime. Yes. <laughs> Great. So to save his marriage, it's interesting. It's like, okay, I need you to get bread. All right, I'll go pick that up. I'll pick that up. So you become an Uber driver. Well, good. These are delicious, by the way. They I are I can get through well, I think we have jars right. for all of you to take home. Oh, hey, oh, thanks hey, for playing. Hey, yeah, hey, everybody gets a pickle. Patrick, how long do you let it yeah. sit before? Oh, I'm sorry. You keep these in the fridge for at least three weeks. They're okay. You're not going to kill yourself if you eat them in two days, but three weeks you'll be really, really happy. 